China Lane. I play Jordan Woodrow in the TV One original movie in Broad Daylight. And what's up? I'm Curtis Hamilton. I play Steve in, in the movie In Broad Daylight. So I'm this, the crazy boy. <laughs> so this movie In Broad Daylight is a gripping, fantastic, powerful movie about survival. It's about a young woman named Jordan Boudreau who is in a relationship with her uh, boyfriend, Steve Jordan. They have a toddler together. And Jordan is um, experiencing a lot of domestic violence, a lot of physical, mental, and um, emotional abuse from Steve. And there comes a point where she tries to leave him and he abducts her and um, in her fight to survive, her family comes looking for her and that's where Bow Wow's character, Shad Moss, the actor, <laughs> his character uh, plays my cousin Malik. He uh, fights with our family to find Jordan. And overall, I feel like this movie is about the power of family, the power of community, and the power of never giving up on those you love. Yeah, well, so as you know, like I said, I play Steve Jordan, so I'm the boyfriend who abducts her. And as she said, she had family, she had um, friends and people that she could rely on for support in, in different things. And Steve was the total opposite. He was a loner. He didn't have that support. He was um, someone who was going through life pretty much by himself. And he finally found a support system within her. And once he saw that kind of slipping away, you know, it, he started to, to act not like himself because he was very much loved in the community. Someone people looked at and said nothing but great things about, but uh, it kind of um, represent what a lot of people when we go through in our life. Um, we don't love ourselves. So, and he started to react instead of think, which made him do some of the things that turned into the things that they turned into. So, what's interesting about this movie, and one of the things that I love is. Uh, first of all, domestic violence is something that happens to both women and men. And it's something that, especially in the black community, is not talked about enough. And um, we're getting great progress as the newer generations become more open to therapy and more open to breaking a lot of those vicious cycles that may have gone on in past generations. Um, but what I love about this movie is that you see a young fly girl. I mean, this girl is somebody who could be my homegirl, who could be my friend. And, you know, I have had, and I'm sure everybody here has had someone that they know who has been affected by domestic violence, if it has not even been your own self. And understand that it's not just being hit. We're talking about emotional, emotional and um, mental abuse. And some of us don't even realize that we're being abused the way that we're being spoken to. And it affects how we interact with people. It affects how we close ourselves off. But to see someone, I think more so who looks like me and who looks like one of my friends and her boyfriend is a fly, cute, you know, handsome guy. You would never suspect oh. him. Not Curtis. Um, this was Curtis after he got out of the makeup chair. But to see, <laughs> to, see, to see that, I felt like this is something, to me, this movie is going to wake up even more people in my generation and in generations that the younger generations to say, hey, domestic violence doesn't have a specific look. It's we have to realize that this could happen to any of us and check with ourselves. Is this happening to us? Is this happening to my friend? How do I speak up? Is this happening to my sister? How do I speak up? And um, that's the thing that I, I love about this movie. It's so relatable to even the, the younger generations in addition to, you know, the older generations. Yeah, and not only this, uh, the domestic violence, I think that this movie will show um, as much good as me going on, having the perfect job like Steve had, um, the great smile, like you're saying, um, girls loving him and community loving him. Um, as you know, being a really, you have to be able to speak and you have to speak up when, when you have internally things that are going on that are, that are eating at you. And, and if you don't address them, it could get to a, to a scary point. And you have to love, you know, I hope that whoever's watching this that may be in Steve's um, position that understand self love is so important in a relationship. You can't rely on one individual to kind of um, make you feel great about yourself. You can't rely on one individual to kind of just, you know, just kind of keep you in that happy state. So um, 
remember in relationships and anything in life, whatever you got going on, you got to love yourself first. If you don't, um, you know, it doesn't matter. It makes things dark. It makes things hard for you. It only ruin relationships that you're in. So hoping whoever's going through that faith to kind of get that from you. And our movie, which premieres on Sunday, July 14th, on TV One at 8 p.m., um, with an encore presentation at 10 p.m., was directed by the incredible Ken Michael, um, who many of us also might know from his acting work. Um, he's a fantastic director who understands actors and understand, understands how to make it a safe space for us. Um, and also, uh, we were executive produced by Shad Moss, um, who was... As an actor, he is one of the kindest actors. He shows up, what do you need? I'm here. Like he's not, he, there's absolutely no ego. And that's what I loved about working with him. A little bit. He, well, I, that was not my experience. He played my cousin and I had a very, very, you know, a very, very comfortable and fantastic and just a, a, a very friendship, a, a, a very good friendship with him as you know, playing his cousin and somebody that I, I needed to confide in and be safe with. And um, and what I also liked about, <laughs> just because what I liked about what he did on set was he also always made sure that everyone, not just, you know, the leads, he always made sure that everyone felt respected on set um, when he was able to do that. So it, it was great. Yeah, and I think him. that's that that's, goes for the entire cast. Everybody was chill. Everybody was ready to work. Like you said, Chad came in ready. Um, China obviously came in ready. You know, I, I was ready, and um, even Tamar Austin. Is it? Is it say your name wrong? Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. Ta Tamar. Just make sure I get the name right. Tamara Austin. See, we both getting it wrong. Tamara, Tamara. Yeah, she was. You. She was. Um, <laughs> I give her a shout out because I thought she was amazing. She's a, uh, a breath of fresh air with her energy and um, how she just commands the room. Even you know how she was on set. So she was she was great. Kenny was great. Um, another one of your family members in the movie. So yeah, I think the whole cast was just all. It, it was easy to to, to kind of get a great movie because everybody was willing to put in that work. No egos.